He has been basically working all through the night, at the equivalent of an all-nighter Eastern time. So he's probably pretty tired, pretty jet-lagged. And that is Fox correspondent Peter Ducey in Vietnam demolishing a network talking point about President Biden. Moments later in a news conference, the president answered five questions from reporters and then wondered whether he should take any more. Staff, is there anybody having spoken to... No, I ain't calling on you. I'm calling on you. I said they had five questions. Hey, what? I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. Thank you. I'm going to bed. Well, without any context, that remark might seem like evidence the president is too old for the job. But Fox viewers had already heard from Peter Ducey the president had pulled an all-nighter. Still, after the news conference, Ducey tried to get back in line on the Fox News GOP agenda. This is a White House that is confronted with poll after poll after poll of Americans worrying that he might be too old for a second term. And then he comes to Vietnam and announces that he is going to bed. It's unclear how that is going to ease concerns that people have back home that he might be uh, too old for a second term. Back to you. Well, President Biden might be too old or he might just be tired, as Ducey had reported earlier. He has been basically working all through the night, at the equivalent of an all-nighter Eastern time. So he's probably pretty tired, pretty jet-lagged. If you're a viewer of Fox News, it's enough to give you whiplash. Is President Biden too old and too tired for the job, as evidenced by his quip about going to bed? Or was the president merely jet-lagged and stating the obvious for everybody traveling with him? Poor Peter Ducey, he is the old saying that even a blind squirrel will on occasion stumble over and find an acorn. In this case, Ducey stumbled over the truth and reported Biden's exhausting travel schedule before the news conference. Then, <laughs> once Biden himself spoke about wanting to go to bed and right-wing media literally went nuts, Ducey had to bury the truth, never mention it again, and join the GOP chorus in blasting Biden. Now, to be clear, President Biden's age is a legitimate concern for a strong majority of Americans. As the headline in The Hill says, 77% of new polls say Biden is too old to be effective as president if reelected. And never mind President Biden's news conference quip about going to bed in a different remark about climate change. The president mentioned his brother's love of movie lines and tried to quote from a John Wayne movie to describe climate change deniers. And there's three or four unions and headdresses and the union soldiers. The union soldiers basically saying, it is, come with me, we'll take care of it, we'll have anything be good. And the Indian scout, the Indian looks at John Wayne and points to the Union so and says, he's a lion dog-faced pony soldier. Well, there's a lot of lion dog-faced pony soldiers out there about, about global warming, but not anymore. That may seem rambling and a bit odd if you take it out of context, but if you do a little reporting, you will discover that the president has used that phrase, lying dog-faced pony soldier, several times before. And the president has been consistent in using it to describe people that he believes cannot be trusted. But if you don't include any context, it certainly sounds strange, weird, and perhaps even a sign of dementia. So guess who did not include any context in reporting these remarks afterwards? That's right, Fox News and Peter Ducey. We often pick on Peter and his fellow Fox clowns because, well, they deserve it. The network is all about cherry picking quotes and sound bites and bearing the truth and context, especially when any of it gets in the way of the GOP agenda. Again, the president's behavior and mental acuity is fair game and a legitimate question. But Fox News always muddles a serious issue or discussion by turning it into something cheap and misleading. And the correspondent that Fox counts on to carry that water, even if he inadvertently spills it at first, is Peter Ducey. By the way, one of President Biden's biggest critics in Congress is Ohio Republican Jim Jordan, but Jordan has been short-circuiting on live TV. The, the, uh, w when it came to the, uh, the, the decision with... Um... Mr. Uh, I drew a blank there, Sean. I apologize. Mm, there is a reason for Jordan stumbles. Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.